Hey, it's me, Projer, and welcome back to Magic the Gathering. I know it feels like I'm not really making a lot of progress, but you gotta remember, every time I defeat a creature, I am slowly weakening them. So, like, I've got five damage on black, I'm weakening green a little bit. White and black have taken down the most. I haven't even touched red. Uh, but overall, what's my win-loss record? 21-20? Positive. Overall. I've only failed one quest. <laughs> Ugh. Uh, take a green sorcery spell south to Cold Snap Forge and get a mana link and a green amulet. I'll do that. Which is right there. Perfect. Alright, so I'm gonna keep just getting these mana links to try to get extra life. Check this graveyard, though. Jovial Evil deals two damage to each target player for each white creature he or she controls. Nice. Okay, up to 13 life. Defeat the Tusk Guardian for blue cards. I don't trust fighting Tusk Guardians right now. Alright, I still need to head over that way and try to save PSAP. Warlock! Duel! I'm kind of getting to the point where my blue cards have been weakened so much I might be better off just abandoning the blue and bringing in just all white. I just, I, I just need more money, and I should just be buying all cards I can just to make any 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 deck. Just anything. I need anything. Well, what I do have going on in my hand, though, is I've got four mana, Mesa Pegasus, and Air Elemental. I do have Moat, so I can do that to immediately prevent all of his ground creatures from attacking. Unless he plays, like, Hypnotic Spectre or something. Nope, Drain Life. All right. Yeah, so I'm gonna play Moat, which makes it so none of his ground creatures can attack. And I've got Air Elemental, which is a big air creature. So I think if I do it, just that, it'll prevent a lot of his a lot of his abilities. Yeah. So Merc Dwellers, those can't attack. Fool. Air Elemental, however, can. Creatures without flying cannot attack. Okay, just making sure I read that right. So long as I have this enchantment in play, he can't attack with his Merc Dwellers. But I can attack with Air Elemental and not have to worry about getting bashed back in the face. Yep, so that does nothing for him either. Cool. Attack for four in the air. Fly right over his other creatures. This little symbol here is flying. I'm going to put down the water elemental just in case something weird happens to moat. I still want to have a creature down. I don't know. Black is weird sometimes. Still can't attack. So even if he plays uh, air, uh, Hypnotic Spectre, I can still attack with air elemental because I don't give a crap about anything else. So I will. Bam, all right. You've got two turns to live, dude. It's just further weakening the Black Wizard. Now, eventually, you'll, like, defeat these smaller creatures so much that they just stop appearing, and you'll only start seeing larger, more threatening minions of the wizards. Yep, attack with air elementally. Sure, I got a lot of creatures out there you can't do anything with. Alright, so you're dead next turn. Can you draw something off the top of the deck that'll save you? You played a swamp, so I'm gonna guess no. Nope, it's just all three are Al Hajjajs and another Pit Scorpion. Yeah, for good measure. She's she been working out a lot. She's been hitting you in the face so much she just got some holy strength. Beefy air. Cool, I'll kill you. Ooh, Badlands. I'm gonna take these cards, because these are really good cards. And because I need cards. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start buying some stuff. What's your quest? Take this message to Samuel's Spire for a white amulet. Samuel's Spire. That's actually kinda on the way. I'll do it. And I do need white amulets so I can use my special artifact. Check this graveyard. 
Artifact Possession. Whenever a player plays an ability of an enchanted artifact requiring an activation cost or that artifact becomes tapped, two damage to them. Okay. So basically, if they use artifacts, they'll take two damage. Uh, ooh, Aspect of the Wolf is a good card. Carnivorous Plant. It's a 4-5 wall. It's a wall. Uh, grab a little bit of food. Keep heading this way. Almost a Sarmal Spire already. Hello, lady. Or cleric. Oh, sorry. Ooh, I'm gonna pay the 40 gold because I don't want to do this fight and lose Northern Paladin. He's one of my better cards. I'd rather not lose him. Ooh, healing salve. Another disenchant. Uh, Chandelar was not always as it was today. In ancient times, magic was free to all. There was no need to hoard mana or spells. We basked in riches, but did not know it. In talks with the Guardian and the Lords, I learned of other places, called the Plains. These faraway lands are poor in mana, and only wizards there use magic. Strong wizards move between the Plains, and they call themselves Plainswalkers. They are a vicious bunch, always warring. To them, Chandelar is like a ripe fruit. Okay, Sarmal Spiles right there. I also saw a nearby dungeon. I have no idea which one it is. It's always worth checking out the dungeons. Let's do it. Holy Armor, Morale, Mishra's Factory, Coral Helm. Eh. I see you have not yet defeated the White Wizard. He has 45 life and controls zero mana domes. Oh, is that all? That was this place. Crusade in effect. All white creatures get plus one, plus one. I have a lot of white creatures. So there are worse things I could deal with. Alright, it's a lot of... A lot of people that way. Check all the spots first. See if there's any free... Plus three life. Don't need to face them, because I can kind of get around them. And it's not really worth fighting creatures in here. Oop. Plus one life. I'm going to head this way and take this lady out. Let's see what's going on down over here. Oh, my opening hand sucks! Because of course it does! God. Always happens. Like, she is arguably one of the easier ones to fight against. Oh, okay, Drew Plains. That's something. Got 2-2 two, two Samite Healer thanks to that crusade, baby. Uh, you also have a Samite Healer. Uh, Wall of Spears. Hey. Gets me a decent wall. What? Come on! Well, I have clone. Not really worth cloning anything right now. Unless I can... Sarah Angel clone be good. Uh... I don't know what else is in her deck. It's worth cloning. Mesa Pegasus. Oh, and she has her own land tax. Dang it. There's Sarah Angel! Now I just need the mana for it. Yeah, grabs th oh, like we're using the same decks. It actually very well could be the exact same deck. I don't know if she had mind control or not, but it's certainly possible. Ooh, moat. Let's let's moat. Just in case, for some reason, she has some big ground creatures, I can at least prevent that. Because I know I've got Sarah Angels in my hand. Which gives me a large flying creature. I th yeah, I think... I think she straight up has my deck. Which is... Which is good and bad. Good in that I know what's in there and can handle it. Bad in that I know what's in there. And uh, I don't know how I can handle some of these things right now. Okay. It's my best bet here. Cloning Sarah Angel for sure. 
and then give her an unstable mutation and go in swinging hard. It's an eight. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Swing for eight. Bam. Yeah, you can prevent one of it, but still, seven damage is nothing to scoff at. Which basically sets it up so that I can attack with both my Sarah Angels next turn, and they have to block with both, or they'll die. And even as a safety thing, I'm going to give my other angel holy armor. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. Block with both or you're dead. You're dead. Oh, wait, you can prevent one. That's right. That doesn't really change much. Cool. All right, I got this. I got this. We're good. Unless they play what? Their own Sarah Angel, which would be annoying, but I can still force my way through. Uh, they can also play... That's pretty much it. Alright, I got it. Attack with both. Can't stop all of it. Even if you make that flying until end of turn, you can only just block one. Five damage to you. Get through this. Now, hopefully, I can find. What is the total casting cost of marsh gas? Marsh gas is black. It's either three or four. I don't want to fight anything. I could just look it up. It would uh, be known as cheating. Like, I, I could picture it in my head. I'm gonna go with three? One? Oh, shoot! I was way off on that. Welp. Well, you're still my best person to fight against to try to make progress in this dungeon. All right, Sarah Angel, Samite Healer. I have an okay opening hand. Now, thankfully, since I got those extra lives, it still counts, so I still have it. I've got a creature first. Sucks for you. Slight of mine. Sliding to red. So now Crusade. What? Change the text targets permanent or spell by replacing all instances with another color. So now all red creatures get plus one plus one. I am okay with this. As you don't have any red creatures either, so end of the day does change a whole lot here. My healer hit you. Does that feel good? Angry mob. Oh, angry mob is mean. Or no, it is. You don't have any swamps. So it's a 2 2 creature with tra trample, but it also gets bonus power and toughness equal to the number of swamps they control, which is currently none. So not really a threat. As I've also got enough mana in my hand that I can get Sarah Angel cast next turn. And my wall of spears makes it so this angry mob can't attack. Sarah Angel! Nice. It's a lot of mana over there, but you're not doing anything with it, which worries me. White Knight. Not gonna help you a whole lot in this fight. Uh. Give holy armor to my clay statue. Just so that. I can now attack with him. Give him something to worry about. No blocks? Boom, seven damage. There you go, bring you down to ten. I still got the Sarah Angel to block with, 
since she doesn't tap when she attacks. Yep, skips over his attack step. That's this one here. Just skips over it because he knows it doesn't attack. Not worth it right now. Second angry mob. Okay with me. Ooh, air elemental? Yeah, let's go. Air elemental. Just because I know you're more flying damage. Bring you down to six. And unless you have a way of stopping flying, I should have you dead next turn. Oh. Jesus Crusade again changes back to white, which just helps me in this situation. Does not attack. Go Flyers! Huh? Yeah! Negative three, you're dead. Cool. There's a treasure! I want the treasure! So badly! Eh. I'll have to just get past another paladin. Oh, this is the worst hand. It's all white cards with a single blue mana. Draw planes, please. Oh. I'm gonna land tax your ass right away. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that top deck though. Saved my butt. Oh, I forgot to activate the... That's so obnoxious. Uh, Pegasus. Activate. Oh, nope. Oh. Changes Crusade to green. So now green creatures get plus one, plus one. You sure showed me. Play land, please. Sword to plowshares on the Mesa Pegasus, so that'll die. Activate land tax. Get to draw three cards. Oh, three lands on my deck. Plains, Plains, Island. Alright, put it on Plains. Play Samite Dealer. keep using land tax to draw lands out of my deck so I can keep grabbing the good stuff that I want which I will all right island island planes draw another planes let's play an island I got 10 cards in my hands let's play a uh we'll play the prismatic dragon because you can fly I'll start getting rid of some of these lands that I don't need. Yeah, so I was just using land tax alone. I was able to take six cards in, out of my deck. Keep some of them, but like just remove a lot of cards I don't want to draw. So I can start drawing things I really want. Oh, that's right. I got Prismatic Dragon. So he's going to change his color every turn. And eventually I could use that to... Uh, maybe he'll become green and then Crusade will make him that much better. Alright, I've got... All right, we're gonna brainwash your angry mob. And then we're gonna put down the wall of spears. Okie dokie. There we are. I'm actually doing okay right now. Not great, but okay. Ooh, he does nothing. Prismatic Dragon is now red. Attack, Prismatic Dragon. Hit him for two. Ha ha! And I'll play Urza's Avenger. The 4-4 four, four artifact that can tweak to give him different effects. So he can't attack this angry mob, even if he pays the three mana to attack with it from Brainwash. Because I can block with Wall of Spears and use the Samite Healer to prevent one of the damages. Oh, okay, Southern Mind, changing it back to white. Just beefs up angry mob a bit. Alright, that's a bit annoying. But I did just get this holy strength, so I can make him into a 5 6 Urza's Avenger. Or I can make Prismatic Dragon a 3 5. Which keeps him in the air. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it on the air damage just because I know he doesn't have a way of blocking that right now. So while tempting to get beefier damage, I'd rather get guaranteed damage right now, since he doesn't have a way of stopping my flying three damage. And I can still stop his angry mob if it attacks, because while Spears has first strike, oh, oh, okay, that's some beef. 
Now, while Spears has got first strike damage, Urza's Avengers has got first strike damage, and I can still use Samite Healer to prevent one of it. Dang it. Soon Prismatic Dragon will become, uh, what is it, white? And get more damage in there. Oh, I guess I could also... Yeah, let's activate it. I can... Not, not black. Try again. Blue! Become white, dang it. Green! One more time. Become white! That was every color but white. I basically just spent eight mana in the hopes of getting one more damage in there. Cool. Freaking game. <laughs> That's so annoying. Oh, now it's white! Oh, a clone. Oh, what's worth cloning right now? Uh, probably Urza's Avenger, to be honest. I can hit for seven in the air. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna give him minus one, minus one till end of turn and make him flying. So now there's two creatures he can't block with flying. Get him down to three and use clone to make a second Urza's Avenger so that I have a way of uh, having another, another, I have basically three flying creatures right now. I think I got him. Yeah, he passed, passed his attack step. Doesn't do anything. On Steam Mutation. On Urza's Avenger. All right, you, flying. You, flying. Attack set. All. Go all. That's 12 damage in the air. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a treasure. I killed him. Treasure. Careful of the mouse, Jared. You remember what happened the last few times. Hey, hey, give it to me. Berserk! One of the weaker spells. Play only before the end of combat. Target creature gets plus X plus O and trample to end the turn, where X is equal to this uh, power, and then dump and then kill him at the end of the turn. So you basically double his damage and make him trample through. He'll die at the end of the turn because he went berserk. But I'd say like a 6-6 creature, suddenly making him into a 12-6 trample is no joke. But I did manage to get a treasure out of all that. So I think what I can do here is try to make my way this way, see if I can find another treasure. Ooh, ooh, black vice opening hand. Bam. Take that. I, this is actually going okay for me for some reason. I mean, it helps that it's crusade and my deck is primarily white. Oh! Well, thankfully, I've got plenty of cards I can cast to null out your black vice. I think she's doing that same thing where she's playing my deck again. Don't play anything good. Damn it. Let's do that. Here we are. Cool. You got nothing. I still got black vice dealing damage to you. <laughs> I can do this. I can get to more treasure. Uh, I don't know if that's... Is that worth it? On Pikeman? I don't know if it's worth it on Pikeman. Could attack and band. Nah. Mm. Eh. Eh. No, better not. Maybe next turn. We'll see. Attack the flyer. I can prevent one of the damage at least, so it's only one. I would love to have an actual successful dungeon run. Ooh, Northern Paladin, that's bad. I could clone Northern Paladin. Or I can wait to clone Avenger. 
Nah, it's Clone the Paladin. Clone, well, I got it. I'll even give him some armor. A paladin wearing holy armor actually makes sense. There. How about that threat? Still prevent one damage at least. Dang it. Perfect. Urza's Avenger. This is what I wanted. Reason being is I can make that fly until end of turn. So I can start using that to hopefully start killing... Uh... Surprise! Flying! Go up on the block. Uh, for good measure, I'll also make him... No, not first strike. Ha! Didn't expect that, did you? Cool. Kill the vultures. Alright, so I got rid of his one possible flying defender, so now I can get Urza's Avenger in there. And that right now, oh, he played his own, though. Bastard. Why are you like this? I could just try to muscle him using all of my... Just attack with everything. No, that's not a good idea. Uh, all right, here's, here's what I'm going to do. I'm still going to do this, make him flying. Yeah, and you make yours flying, which I anticipated. And I'm still going to attack with both. Ha. Oh. Uh, activate holy armor. Ugh. There. Now he's a 410. I'm pretty sure you, you, you don't have enough there to... Are you dealing 10 damage right now? How much are you dealing? Uh, 3, 5, 9, 11. Damn, that's just enough. Shit. Well, I'll prevent some of it. Eep. Wow. I don't entirely know what happened, but he really came out on top. I guess I was not even thinking about the possibility that they would all just block Northern Paladin. Welp! I'm gonna take 10 damage here. Ow. But on a bright note, do you have any other creatures? Or can I kill you? Mesa pick assist. Damn it. Ah, oh, the guy was a planes. Uh, oh no, I can I can still kill. Watch. Attack with everybody. All right, cool. I think I'm still stuck at five life now, but I at least killed it. I can try again. Huh. Okay, next one. I have a planes. Oh, God. How many times in a row have I just not had mana in my hand? Oop, land tax. All right. That ought to help. <laughs> oh, no, wait. I need to uh, mark this phase so I can use land tax. Careful, Jared. Wait. Mark this phase. Stop. There we go. Land tax. Planes. Planes. Island. Get your prodigal sorcerer. There you go. Okay. Uh, I got a discard already? Uh, discard. Mm. The extra planes. Because maybe I can sell land tax out of them. Yeah, I can. Okay. You're attacking the Samite healer? Mm. I'm actually going to block it now and just let these trade out. Because I am behind, and just to keep nothing on his side of the field will help me a lot. Wall Spears. Use Land Tax. Island, Island, Plains. Just kind of keep trying to get good cards out of my deck. 
Alright, wall of spears can't attack, so I'm not afraid of that, so we'll get Prodigal Sorcerer out, because that's at least one damage. Gotta discard again. Discard the island. Oh, gotta discard another. Duh. Other island. Okay, okay. I can still win this. If I just use land tax to get all the lands on my deck and just only draw win cards. Brainwash Prodigal Sorcerer, okay with me. Land tax. Plains, plains, island. Draw, play statue, okay. Down to plains. Uh, let's go with the, uh, ooh, let's go with the prismatic dragon because you're flying. Place them to that. There we are. I gotta discard again. Uh, plains and uh, other planes. Okay, I can do this. Because if I just get all the planes out of my deck and just only have really useful cards. Yep, yep, yep. Just trying to, as long as I keep pulling those out and the only that's left for me to draw are win cards, it's gonna help me so much more than just hoping for it. Uh, Northern Paladin, because you're a big one. And then I can attack in the air with the Prismatic Dragon! Right, I'll have to discard again, which is fine. I've got so many lands uh, in the field, in, the plant, in my hand, and I can land tax out. I'm not concerned about it. I should probably be more concerned, but I'm not right now. You're not! I don't know what's in her hand that she's not using in it. I guess... I don't know. Okay, how many cards are left in my deck? I have 14 cards left. Okay. I can't land tax anymore because we have finally tied up in lands. <sighs> okay. Alright. So this no longer helps me. Alright. Uh, let's get out. Holy Strength, the Northern Paladin attack with it. Alright, we're gonna Holy Strength the Dragon. Because it's flying! And then for some reason she plays a flying creature, which obviously she's in my deck, so it's possible. My Prismatic Dragon will be larger than that. And then... I'll attempt to attack with both of mine. Alright, she blocks the Wall of Spears, so this should destroy Wall of Spears. Good. And then... Clone out another Northern Paladin, just so I have more creatures on the field. Alright. I, I, th I think I'm good. Didn't take any damage. Got full control of the board. Yep, cast your own Northern Paladin. Figured as much, so I'll shoot you for one. Alright, uh, planes. And then I can attack with all of my dudes, and you can't stop all of them! Ha! Another one slain! Please be good to me, dice. You get cloned next duel. This is not gonna be anything to clone, it's gonna be worthless. Well, there's another treasure, I'm going for it! Yeah, see, clone can't actually use it. Ah, uh, this hand sucks. Uh, I mean, can get the black vice damage in, but that's about it. Until I start drawing creatures, I'm, I'm really boned. Especially since I only got five left. Oh, Benel Shiro! Oh, especially if you start off with Benel Shiro, just because that's already two damage that I can't stop right now. This is gonna be the end of my dungeon run. I got Berserk out of it. It was my first treasure. I do like treasure. Ow. Maybe you don't have anything else. You don't. Okay. I've I've got plenty of enchantments, so once I get a creature, I can really beef them up. But right now I've got two turns to live. I, I need to draw one creature. It doesn't even matter which one, because I can just Throw stuff on it to block Benel Shiro, otherwise I'm going to die. And then have one life, whatever fight is after that. 
Prodigal Sorcerer. Of all the things I thought I could get, was not expecting the Prodigal Sorcerer. Well, armor up, buddy. You're on defense duty. Swords of Plowshares! I lose. You got me. I lost Pikeman. But I did get a treasure out of all out of it at the end of the day. Oh god, summoner. I was just trying to go home and you're making me fight you. Oh, and if I if I lose this fight, I lose Swords of Plowshares, which is so good. And you got 21 life. I'm just trying to go home. This episode's already way too long. Uh, okay. Um, let me think. You have forest and plains or a green white deck? Okay, primarily green. On steel mutation. It's looking a lot like it was before. Right? Don't have a whole lot I can do right now. I do have clay statue out next turn, which is something. And also, prodigal sorcerer is ready. Alright, we're gonna get play statue out. And she disenchants it. That's fine. Everything's fine. One more land allows me to cast water elemental and I can clone water elemental. Not the best clone option. Ooh, northern paladin. Yeah, we'll get northern paladin out. It's a 3-3. Three, three. There's nothing to scoff at. Basically, in magic, once you get to creatures that have like three power or so, like those are major threats because those can pretty much destroy most other creatures. War Mammoth, 3-3 three, three, Trample. Mm. Uh, let's get the Sorcerer. Keep it chill for now. Keep it chill. Please don't attack with your Mammoth. Didn't. I could use Unstable ma Mutation on the Mammoth and then disenchant it so it just dies. <laughs> Second Mammoth. <laughs> uh, Water Elemental. Huh? Or I could clone one of his Mammoths and then Unstable Mutation the Mammoth so I say I have a 6-6 six, six Trample. Also an option. Rather, nah. I'd rather have just more useful things. Take that! Oh, there we go, Sarah Angel. There's my cologne target. Never mind. We good. We good. Let's get a spider or something. Hurricane! Oh, four damage, Sarah Angel. No. Oh. Piece of crap. Shoot. Uh. Attack water elemental. I got an idea. Double block. Do it. Or no block. All right, no blocks. Takes five. Uh, clone. Mammoth. Ha! See, I still got stuff I can trade out with. I'd rather keep the mammoth, but I'm not afraid to lose them. Rajon's spirit. Target creature loses flying until end of turn. Ooh, that's obnoxious. I mean, you got rid of the one flying creature I really wanted, though, so it's... No big deal to me. Ooh, a black vice? Perfect. Especially since I know that you are having a hard time casting spells. So you're looking at taking three damage next turn. And then, say, if you had a... This is a gross, unstable, mutated war mammoth attacking you. Just everybody. Everybody go. Everybody go. Rawr! Yeah, I'll hit you for five. These will all trade out. These will trade out. And I still have water elemental left over. This this is a good trade. This is all my favorite because they're losing three creatures. I'm losing two. Good trade. 
Alright, uh, one. No! Oh, no! My finger twitched and accidentally double clicked, which made all the damage go to that one war mammoth, and I wanted to do both. <sighs> now I gotta shoot you for one. Alright, cool, gotcha. Uh, all right, this episode was crazy long. That was the longest dungeon run and the longest ever survived in one. So the deck is getting better, and I did get a treasure out of it. It's something. Progress is being made, I swear. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time!